educational class. Okay, so now welcome to the the Ed Fund Financial Accounting Two courses. Right, so um, this is actually the continuing courses from the Ed Fund Financial Accounting One, and yeah. I think this class actually before this only assigned for one class for about probably more than two, right? But Wozna told me that we have to, you know, make it the class become two since a lot of students will be covered in one class, so which is not really effective. So uh, yeah, the class now separates into these two class. So me will be guided this class until um, yeah in the middle of the semester, and Wozna will be continue. And I'm gonna change with Wusna in another class like this. I'm gonna continue with another class until the final. All right, so how was your at Fun Financial Accounting one mark before? All good? All good? Good, Nelson said good, okay. All right, Fadi said good, all right, so good then. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, yeah, I've been, you know, follow your, performance before I mean like uh, I know that um, the way you guys are learning so what I want to say is actually um, as long as in the class you've been really um, follow follow the path or follow the rules so probably it's going to be fine right but if you guys probably not really no one makes assignment like the, there are 16 assignments probably you only have five out of 16 so yeah you gotta you know probably have a bit problem with your mark at the end. Okay, so let me just share the semester learning plan for this class. Okay, wait one moment. <clears throat> okay, there you go. Okay, um, so all of you can See this one, right? Okay, this is a semester learning plan for Advanced Financial Accounting 2. Um, yeah, just like usual. Um, this is uh, three semester credit in it, all right? So me and this now will be got this class. And this is a compulsory one. Um, and then uh, this is on the Financial Accounting field line. Uh, intermediate one and two is also the prerequisite courses, and I think it's fun financial accounting one. Of course, it's prerequisite one also, because if you can't, if you didn't pass the one, the, the I, I don't know whether you still can take the fun financial accounting too, but I don't think so. You can take the yeah if you failed in fun financial accounting one. <clears throat> so uh, about the method, <clears throat> so the approach that we provide in here is actually student center learning. So just like before, I think uh, everyone didn't understand about what is a student center learning itself. It's, <coughs> sorry. So it's kind of a bit different, um, yeah, a lot of different with the teacher center learning. So where the teacher center learning is actually where the teacher will just, you know, explain uh, the material in the class and then, in student center learning, well, the center is actually in the student itself. So uh, the lectures here was uh, as a facilitator, uh, motivator, and will we'll got you to give the tutorial also. So I hope this class will be have a tutorial like usual, right? So um, we've been talked to the management study program and said that we hope that the, the lectures, um, I mean, the tutorial will be provided start in the beginning of the semester and because sometimes it come up around fourth meeting right so i mean um it's not started the tutorial class sometimes doesn't start from the very beginning so i hope um pro d or accounting study program will be provided in the very beginning for tutorial so it will be a linkage between class uh, in the main uh, schedule with the class uh, supported by the tutorial or uh, as does, yeah, we call it as does in Indonesia. <clears throat> and discussion and assignment also um, implemented. Okay, so the learning design is actually uh, related closely to the intermediate accounting subject also and will be um, related to the, but yeah, as you've been learned in, in, in financial accounting one before, so the 
uh, causes was actually more uh, merely focused on um, related to the intercompany transaction, right? So the art transaction um, in more than one company. So how can they tackle with like inventory transfer <clears throat> between the parents and subsidiary like that? And <clears throat> in the advanced financial account, but in intermediate, sometimes we're not really focused on that. Right, so we only focus on one, for example, one uh, company, but for now we are focusing on one company. Okay, so um, uh, the specific common standard will be applying here. So the subject will find explanation, description, various concept, procedure, basic principle about business combination, right, based on the cost and equity method, <clears throat> and also consolidated financial statement. Okay, so this is just actually about the <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> sorry, ma'am. Your voice not here. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm so sorry, but Adi, thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> thank you, speakers. I've been, yeah, make it mute before. Thank you. Right, so this is actually kind of the process that we've been through uh, related to preparing the semester learning plan. So this has actually been point, becoming a main point in the accreditation before. The assessor said that, does your student know about the graduate profile, the educational objective of study program? Does your student know the process of, um, yeah, process of making the semester learning plan so I think this is also the most important thing that we've been yeah a bit changes I mean like students have to know about this one okay so that's why we're trying to explore it in the semester learning plan so we encourage that um, the graduate profile for now for the next one will be have a strong analytical skill required in developing professional judgment in accounting and related fields right why we say related fields because we also have the another focus, like for example, in taxation, in corporate governance, right? Yeah. So that's why we call it in related fields by understanding the issue of sustainability and ethics in decision making, <clears throat> as well as committed to lifelong learning. So lifelong learning is also the things that we highlight in here, since um, it means that you cannot only learn something in the class but you can get more information from out there i mean like even though from your uh, daily life activities probably or from like probably if you have an experience in internship program or the other so that was the things that will be support the graduate profile right that's why in our faculty in our in our university we not we only um we also provide kind of the support for the students, not only in the class, right? So for example, if you guys, um, you know, involving in like student onion, like in HEMA, so lectures and uh, will be help you as a guide. Yeah, will be guide you on that part, right? So uh, I think that was also the main point here. <clears throat> and, um, Sorry, I think I need the water. So please uh, excuse me for about, uh, yeah, no, less than one minute, okay? For a second, but yeah.
Okay, let's continue. Um, yeah. Right, so this is actually the program expected learning outcome. So um, um, this one, knowledge proficiency, having a knowledge of skill and accounting assurance. And this is the one that we've been focusing on the accounting study program, right? Sorry, banyak gangguan yang kau di rumah. <coughs> Semoga si siapa yang si Nelson ngerti ya. <laughs> Kalau di rumah ini banyak gangguan. Nah. Apa? Okay, let's continue. Um, so this is also related to the program expected learning outcome. Uh, we've been also focused on knowledge proficiency, work, working skill capability, managerial competency, and also value and attitude, right? So that's why um, uh, we also put the NAFIC in, in one of the assessment also. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So this is courses expected learning outcome. So after we we um, you know create the graduate profile like educational objective and then there's also versus expected learning outcome what we do expect here the student will be able to make the elimination and preparation of consolidated financial assessment right so like uh, sell of merchandise sell of fixed assets and lease of the affiliated company and we'll also uh, expect the student able to make elimination in the preparation of consolidated financial assessment Right, in the event of bond purchase issued by a affiliated company. And we also hope that the student can have and make the elimination in preparation of consolidated financial statement in the event of change of parent company ownership. Yeah, <clears throat> so um, in this part also, uh, we hope that the student can make the elimination in preparation of consolidated financial statement in the event uh, of indirect ownership transaction. And if there is, um, subsidiary which operate abroad like um for, for example um the 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 parent company you know located in probably in usa so they have a subsidiary in another country right so there's also um kind of uh specific uh yes specific um activities mm -hmm. that have to be passing through like uh, probably there is a foreign exchange rates in there right so for example the parent company in usa and subsidiary located in japan or in indonesia so how can the financial signal be provided right <clears throat> and also um uh students have to make the elimination in preparation of subsidiary financial segment which operate abroad and very particular instrument and recording transaction of hedging so there is um a situation when in one transaction um, the company need to hatch their transaction. So what do we mean by hatch? I see like um, hedging is actually part of um, the company in order to make a secure, the secure for, for example, if one company would like to sell their product, um, they make a contract like the, the is a hedging transaction, like probably forward contract, like that, so we're going to also discuss in this um, advanced financial accounting too, right? So, what is the the function of the forward contract? Is actually they want to secure the price of the product in uh, in the meantime. So probably they um, the the price of um, corn probably though. So the, the price of corn now on for, um, for example about ten dollar. So. How can they want to secure this price? Will not be, uh, you know, if the price of the corn will be decreased, probably in the next three years, probably decrease around eight dollar. But they want they they can secure the the standard uh, in the forward contract. So that was the function of the the hedging transaction very particular instrument that we're going to also discuss, right? So uh, student able to determine a segment company operations and apply procedure by using interim report and also disclosure. Okay, and, and the most important thing, another thing is also having a good communication skill. So that's why we also assign 
<coughs> a group um, that been uh, made before. So I hope this will be a run. Yeah, yeah, we only have around seven meeting, right? So I'm gonna try to, to arrange it. So everyone will have a chance to present about the cases that probably we're going to um, do uh, in the next meeting. Okay. Oh yeah, and another thing, a learning method here. Yes, learning method. So this is uh, another outcome. Uh, we want student able to work in team, having a strong analytical skill, good ethics, and high integrity and learning method. So the learning method is a lecture, is an also group class discussion. So student center learning that I've been taught before. It doesn't mean that probably you just try to find it by yourself. I mean, you can ask me about things that probably you cannot find, like how about this, uh, how about the literature or another sources information related to one topic, you can ask me. But a student will be active in this one, right? <clears throat> so <clears throat> by using this method, um, student expected to have well understanding of concept, method, technique of professional accounting too, and also able to apply knowledge. So, um, there is also one another thing that most important one is actually in the class, uh, there are some courses that provide a specific method like cast best method. If you have, do you have any idea about that? Cast best method, project uh, best method. So do you want, uh, do you um, know about this? No? So now on, um, yeah, deriving from the student center learning. <clears throat> there are um, specific methods that can be used by the lecturers. So the first one is a project-based learning and the second one is guest-based method. So what do we mean in the project-based method is actually the situation when in that class, um, we, yeah, the student have an opportunity to uh, know about the real case in one of the company. So I think in the manufacturing, I think in management accounting, by the way, they have been um, implement that. So at the end, the project task will be the result of those process. So it means that um, the student have to involved in in final exam, but they will provide project task at last. But in um, at fund financial accounting the one that I can implement to you guys is actually cash best method. So before probably um, most of uh, the exercises on assignment given is closely related to the calculating, right? But uh, now I also would like to, uh, you, to add um, a several question related to the cash best method. So basically the question is in the, in the cash study, cash study like that. Okay, so that was that makes it a little bit different for the next one. So this is just about yeah, like usual, use PowerPoint explanation. Group will be assigned paper answer some discussion question, and group will be create answer. And uh, actually, um, before when when I also um, you know uh, teach this class with Usna, we've been assigned like this. So the group assigned for you, and then we going to give the assignment and then uh, the student will present the assignment on the on the tutorial class right so in in another class so the the lectures from tutorial class will be giving me the mark that has been um yeah they but i don't know i hope that tutorial class will be assigned as soon as possible so so the things that we create i mean the plan that we met now will be yeah, we, we can just, you know, make into reality, so I hope. But if not, if, if until next meeting or the next, the third meeting, there is no uh, tutorial lectures will be assigned. So probably the presentation just will be around in the class. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh. All right. So the individual assignment will be assigned too, right? Okay. So this is the student assessment. So this is the things that also been, uh, you yeah you've been focused on this one since. <coughs> look at this component. Um yeah like a lot mm -hmm. of company actually but we can just 
break down into the sample one. For, for example, like this um, final midterm, 30% for each. Um, this is, I think it's about attendance, right? The attendance is 10%, class participation 15%, communication skill 5%. Um, but in my part, I'm gonna add this one, uh, the, the tutorial class. So I'm gonna put the tutorial class um, in this one. So I'm gonna break. Oh, sorry, I have a problem with my Microsoft. So I'm gonna give you the components, but I'm gonna add probably around um, at this part, class participation. So I'm gonna give, uh, <laughs> the tutorial class at this part. Sorry, I cut on, I did it more. Okay, I uh, just wanna make sure that you guys also attend the tutorial class if it's present, okay? Um, you have to be more careful mm -hmm. on this component, guys, but I'm pretty sure that you've been known before, right? So um, if you have an assignment, so why there is an assignment here? So, I'm, I'm gonna give you the new one. So I thought this is the one that Krishna said it before. Uh, we are using the new method, right? So now we are using Cascas method, right? So I'm gonna give you uh, the component probably after the class, okay? Since uh, the most important thing in this component is also actually the assignment. So, uh, oh yeah, I have it on my uh, note. I'm just gonna probably make it on the chat, okay? So the, the mid term is 30%. Um, and then final percent. Assignment fifteen. Yeah. Mm. Is 10%. For your class. 10%. Attendance. 5%. All right. So everyone got the component right? So the total 100, right? <laughs> Okay. Um, so that was actually the, the component that you've been, yeah, you have been focusing. Like, I also would like to um, uh, let you know about the the important thing of assignment given, right? Since um, if, yeah, sometimes uh, I saw that there is a student not very successful in quiz or so or probably not successful in midterm and final, but if you got assignment doing, so I think that was the thing that made your mark will be increased, okay? <clears throat> and one thing, um, several students, probably some students, sometimes contact me at the end of the meeting, uh, at the end of the mark been, you know, presented, and they said that, um, can I just make the assignment now to complete my my mark? So I can't really ac ac accept those kind of reasons, right? So, uh, yeah, you have to learn appreciate um, the other side. I mean, like your friend, do it in the right time. Do it in, you know, like in the moment when the assignment given. But you want to do the assignment at last by doing all of the thing with some reason. So do you think it's fair? You think it's fair? So do you think if I'm given a chance for this, for the one that wants the assignment complete at last only, but they didn't really do the assignment before. So do you think, is it fair for you guys if I'm giving that chance for your friend? No, mom. <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, okay, so I do agree with that. So. I really encourage you guys to do the assignment because so, I don't really want to you know, accept the reason uh, you didn't submit the assignment before. You know, some, 
sometimes during the study, they didn't submit the assignment. Mm -hmm. And at last, they asked me to, probably not they, probably he or she, um, asked me to, I want to complete assignment now. Can I just make it now so I can get my remark? No, it's, it's not. So the, the system not like that because nothing that you can get if you can, if you do at last, right? So nothing you can get, you probably can just copy from your friend or uh, I don't really like that. So I don't really encourage you to do guys like that. So just do the assignment given. So the topic discussion like this, um, uh, consolidation on this issue, additional consolidation reporting issue, multinational accounting, related to the foreign currency transaction, segment and general report, and partnership liquidation. This is the Christensen uh, textbook that we've been using. So I think the one that's been shared in the group is the 12th edition. All right, so you can just use that. Yeah, I do admit that, Nazif, before uh, our island, island doesn't work. I mean, that doesn't start, right? So it doesn't, it doesn't there. I don't know why, probably <clears throat> the IT, faculty doesn't set yet, I don't know, but I'm just going to try to ask them. So uh, so probably the attendance today, I'm just gonna screenshot for the Zoom, yeah, Zoom meeting. So we can just know that, right? So the advanced financial accounting, uh, yeah, this one, this is also the supported one, but most of the group we can use this one. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. yeah. So um, this is like uh, the one that we've been doing now is about the lecture introduction, about the review that we've got for FM Panasa Accounting 1 for. And the next uh, will be focusing on this, about the intercompany transaction, how to prepare elimination journal. So I think it's just closely related to, to the one that you got in, in FM Panasa Accounting 1. Okay, and then this one, prepare elimination journal. Uh, so I didn't make the detail yet in here related to the quiz, where the quiz will be held, but I'm going to tell you uh, where, when the quiz will be held, probably before, yeah, the, the, yeah like for example, I can, I can say that, okay, next meeting we have a quiz, so I'm just going to tell you when the quiz will be, yeah, we'll be we'll doing that time, okay, so don't worry about that, so I'm going to tell you before that, just to want to make sure that you really understand and get the good mark on quiz, all right? So I'm gonna tell you before the quiz will be held. Okay, so this is about, um, students are able to prepare a mission journal. So most of, the, most of that related to the intercompany section, the parent ownership, how about if the parent company ownership changes? So what are we going to do to prepare a elimination journal? And there's also a situation when the indirect uh, ownership, so um, when the parent's company has the indirect ownership uh, in the subsidiary, so how to prepare the elimination journal in this part. So um, after, after midterm, you're going to also um, uh, discuss with Bruce now. Since... All right, guys, so I think it, um, so please come back to the this this link, the same link, all right? So I think the Zoom, it's, yeah, still I have only less than one minute, because but 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 technically we, we still have a time, all right? So I'm gonna continue until this part. So please join back into the Zoom, okay? And I'm gonna make screen shoot when you guys back into the meeting, okay? All right. Mm -hmm.